And uh, Shana, you just finished your undergraduate degree. Yes, ma'am. And how did you find yourself getting interested in algae? Well, actually, last spring, I actually was in Suzanne's marine botany class and immediately grabbed my entrance. And then this spring that just passed, I actually was in her individual's projects class. And I really learned a lot in seeing how algae was really essential. And this summer, I'm also working in the lab, too. And in Ju July, I'm actually going to Maine to see and investigate and research more things about algae. Right. Yeah, she's being funded by National Science Foundation. So we got a grant for undergraduates. So uh, it's wonderful she's been selected to really uh, represent the university, yes, basically. And so it's a, real, it's a real honor for her. Of what? We all learn in biodiversity that seaweeds belong to Kingdom Protista. But is Kingdom Protista a really good kingdom? Apparently not. We see that the red and the green algae belongs to the plants. And then over here we see that the brown algae belongs to the heterocanths. And then we have other major unicellular algae that all belong to major parts. So apparently Kingdom Protista is not a good kingdom anymore. But what do people like about seaweeds? Gosh, I wish I had such nice fruiting bodies. <laughs> if I had a whole fast like this, I would be more grounded. Those colorfuls are making me hot. Okay, so I have three samples. Yeah. Okay. Is that it? 